right, dear friends. Um, rainy day out here at the bus stop. Rainy, rainy day. Won't be long. It'll be snow. So real quick, I just want to say this. I've been talking about um, using the name of Jesus Christ. You know, he's the one that made the way so we could come to the Father of Heaven, the Father of Earth, make our request, ask for help in our time of need, and this, that, and the other. Everything, everything, everything to live this godly life, the Father said he would give us. And if he'll do that, then all these earthly needs, he surely will provide for us. So, we, we talked about that. I wanted to make sure... I probably should have put this with that message, that video, but I'm going to say, now, being that, uh, and I don't know how much sense this will make, if you haven't seen that one, it's called How to Stand Before God, but it, this should stand alone, what I'm going to say. Lord, please help me, speak in truth and love. In Jesus' name, amen. So, we have that way to the Father. We come to the Father based on the righteousness of Jesus Christ. His perfection, His holiness, His everything. Not her, not my own. Not anything Misty can do or say. You know, if I go today and I don't speak harshly against anybody, as far as I know, I haven't judged anybody on my thoughts. I, I'm free of holding any grudges or unforgiveness against anyone. I study my word. I pray for my book my book of prayers of people I'm lifting up. Do everything according to what I think would be pleasing to the Lord. Y'all, that don't make me any more holy or righteous or privileged to stand before the Father. It doesn't. You know, I'm coming because of Jesus Christ. No one can come to the Father but, but by me, said the Lord. All right, so we got that. Now that frees us up. That is freedom, freedom in Christ Jesus. Because just like if I did everything right today, what if tomorrow I fall into all kinds of sin? I can still go to him because I'm not going based on me. I'm going based on the finished work of Jesus Christ. So, Paul talked about that, and look that up, Google it, and find where that's at. I should have had that reference for you to give. I'm going to have to start doing that. But, what Paul was talking about when he said, now don't use this freedom as a license to sin. Because we see how somebody could. Because, well, if it's not based on me, you know... If it's not based on me and my behavior and this and that, and all I have to do is confess my sin and he will forgive me, then I can dabble in this and give into that and do this and that, and it'll be fine. Paul warned about that and said, don't use this freedom that you found as a license to sin. We have to be very careful of that. And um, what was now what was it I was going to share with y'all? Um We want to know. It's going to keep us safe. We want to know more and understand more what a special privilege and honor it is to be able to use the name of Jesus Christ in prayer in all ways. He has given us the privilege of using His name of representing him in this earth. That's huge. That's so that's so big. And um, there's a place in the Old Testament also, please Google and look up, that it said to people, woe to those who treat the blood of Jesus as common. You know, we we cannot do that. We always have to be in remembrance of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us and what he's doing now on the right hand of the Father interceding for the saints forevermore. So we never want to take them for granted. Now, um, that's easy to do. 
in this human body. It is. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. You know, we need the help of the Lord for this. Father, please help me to never take for granted, to cherish above all else more and more this gift of salvation that we've been given through our faith in Jesus Christ. We want to ask Him for that. Anything we need, we can go to Him and ask Him for. You know? So, that's a wonderful thing to have. I just wanted to put those couple things in with that video about standing before God. That we don't want to use this freedom in Christ. And we should be growing in our freedom in Christ. We don't want to use it as a license to sin. And we also have to be careful of uh, the Christians the Bible talks about that might have a weaker faith. Maybe they're newer. They're babes in Christ. They're more sensitive to things that, you know, that you might have found freedom on. We have to be very careful because as long as, as we're following the law of love, you know, then we can, we can be safe. And the law of love is do unto others as you'd want done unto you. You know, don't be arguing, quarreling, uh, judging others, looking down on them, stuff like that, um, especially in your friend freedom that you found in Christ because even as the freedom in Christ grows the the way seems to get more narrow to me you know like we just Lord please give us humility and help us to treasure the name of Jesus Christ the signet ring that the Father has given us to make imprints into people's hearts and their lives you know, everywhere we go, spreading the gospel of the good news of Christ. Um, you know, not so much just blatantly everywhere we go. But the Bible says we have to be as cunning and shrewd as snakes and innocent as doves. We have to be aware of the schemes and tricks of the enemy. You know, we need the help of the Holy Spirit and when to speak, when not. We need doors of opportunity and this kind of stuff. Just doing our rightful service in the kingdom of God. All for the glory of the king. That's what we're doing. Every day. You know. So I just want to put that in there to go with that other one. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. And stay strong in the Lord. Let's stay humble. Because in order to walk with them we do have to be humble. And we need them to even give us that gift. A humble heart. Lord help us. We need your help in every way. In Jesus' name I ask. I mean, talk to y'all soon. Bye.